Welcome everyone to the very first shiny hunting guide here on the channel. My name is Lucky P and the goal today is to give you guys a guide to hunt your very own shiny Scyther in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Before we do anything, I do want to remind you it is imperative that you have a false swiper on your team to make catching your shiny Pokemon when you inevitably find it as easy as possible. There are a handful of Pokemon that can learn it, but I'm using my Garchomp for the hunt today. This just makes the catching process so much easier, so definitely make sure you have your false swiper at the front of your party before you begin. Okay, jumping into the location for this Scyther hunt, we are gonna be heading over to Medali West. There are actually a few different locations that work for Scyther, but I've found this to be the easiest and the least laggy in the game. From there, you're gonna wanna head to this little clump of trees and go ahead and throw down a save. It's really important not to forget that save, just in case you don't get lucky on the first run. Doing this allows you to reset the game and not lose any of the materials you used for the first time. After saving, you are going to want to go ahead and set up a picnic as this will utilize the sandwich method for hunting this scyther. Now there are a couple different recipes you can use to get the power-ups you need here. The easiest is just a single cherry tomato and two salty Herba Mysticas. If you don't have two salty Herba Mysticas, you can use an alternate recipe instead, which does include a tomato, two cherry tomatoes, an onion, green pepper, hamburger, and two of any any other Herba Mysticas you may have. Unfortunately, that's the recipe I'm gonna have to use because I don't have two salty Herba Mysticas available. Once your sandwich activates, you should have 30 minutes with both encounter and sparkling bug powers at level three, which guarantees a massive number of Scyther will be spawning in this area. We're looking for that reddish color when searching for a shiny, so make sure you're paying close attention as you make your way through the area so you don't accidentally miss it. Again guys, it's really important to remember that because we threw down that save at the beginning of this run, if we don't find it, we can actually just reset the game and get back into it without having lost any of the materials that we used the first time. Eventually, I have no doubt you will find your shiny just as we do here. If you want to evolve your Scyther into a shiny Scizor, you'll want to pick up a metal coat which you can get in the Delibird Presence in Lavincia. After that, just make sure you get someone you trust to go ahead and trade it back and forth holding that metal coat and it should evolve. Guys, I really hope you found this really quick shiny hunting guide for Scyther helpful. If you did, please leave a like on the video and make sure you share it with anybody else who might be interested in picking up a shiny Scyther for their very own. Thank you all so much for watching, and if there is another Pokemon you'd like a shiny hunting guide on, just let me know in the comment section below, and I promise I will do my best to get it to you as quickly as I can.